afternoon. It's May 17th and it's a beautiful Sunday. It's just after three o'clock. Thought I'd give you a little update on what's been going on here. And uh, this is the muffler for the Beast of Turin, my salute to those great old cars, race cars of the turn of the century. This is the engine, which it happens to be a 1925 Oakland, uh, which is going into the 1917 Rio. And that's the one with the 1913 Rio, or excuse me, Oakland radiator on it that was all mashed in and we redid it and did the whole thing on it. And I've just installed the headlights so you can see what it's gonna look like. It's a wide little thing. And Andreas has been doing everything, the prep work and getting ready. We've got the engine ready to drop right in now. We're down to the last few little wells and then we're going to put it in and that'll be it. Here are some of the parts. We had to rebuild everything, of course, and uh, a new clutch I had to adapt it from one type of an automobile to another one. And these are all the bits and the pieces and the new special throughout bearings. It's all been machined and done to fit everything on here with these beautiful plates and everything. Been a lot of work. Andreas did a lot of engineering on this one here, which is what he's particularly adept at. He really is a tremendous mechanic and went to school for it in Argentina. And it sure paid off. Here comes the beast. And you can see it's coming along quite well. We've got all the side boxes done and finished and so forth. And uh, I'm working on the Muffler system right now, got it all set. All I've got to do is get the parts in so we can the stainless steel tubes that come down and off of the three blocks. And you can see this is, it's a bit of a mess, but it's always a bit of a mess. And if it's not a bit of a mess, we aren't doing a damn thing. So we're gonna continue to be messy, but get it done. You can see all the bits and pieces are up on top, so just at eye level so I can gloat over them and say, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and I figure out how to do it, and then I end up doing it three different other ways. I've got some ideas for badges. i got lots of stinking badges. These were all kind of chipped off, and the cloisonne was a little screwed up here and screwed up there, and they really weren't worth anything. So I stripped them all, and I think I'm going to end up putting them on the car somewhere, some way to do it, just as a way to show off the, the beauty of the automobile because it's, it's not a real race car, obviously. It's just a salute to it, but it shows people what people drove back in the day, over a hundred years ago. So that's what I like to do, is to create and save things that normally would be thrown away. And you can see, this is going to be a beautiful thing. We have very special, uh, non-skid tires on it, a full set. And uh, there's your radiator. The AAA badge is from Florida. And it is Tampa Motor Club, Tampa. And that, I cleaned it up. It was just, I thought it looked like, I thought it was brass to tell you the truth. It was that bad. And I started polishing and it started coming up. So there it is. And uh, headlights are very unusual. The lenses are well over a hundred years old. Everything on it is pretty much uh, what it what it is. Now the shifter, I converted the handle for the shifter. This here, this is about 250 years old. But it's just a little something to add to it to make it unusual and have some fun. You can see all of this has been cut out, strengthened. Now we've got to finish it off, paint it, make it all nice, pristine. I'll put my panels, fit my aluminum polish panels under here. That's just all in the doing. And I added, to get a better flow of air, this is from an E-Type, the blade setup, but it's on the original 1925 water pump. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyway, just to show you, and there's the body out there. <coughs> Everything's about ready to, God, don't tell me I got the coronavirus. <coughs> cough, cough, no, I don't. 
Anyhow, these are the headlights for the, the beast. They are big, big mothers. So anyway, I just wanted to show you. So when you get a chance, we'll have some more out here for you and you'll be able to see the rest of what we're doing. And uh, I brought the little truck into the rear garage because we're bringing back Rusty 2 Tuesday. And uh, maybe another addition will be coming in here. I'll let you know. It should be next week. And if I get it, we'll get it. And I'll show it to you. If not, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So anyway, everybody have a wonderful weekend and a following week and a holiday next weekend. And illegitimous non-carborundum. Don't let the bastards grind you down. Have fun. Remember, you're only around here once in a wonderful world and a wonderful life we have. So enjoy it. See ya.